Hello welcome you for the demo session on GG Active Directory reports. This product retrieves information efficiently from the Active Directory, while hiding the complexities involved in the native tools. GG ADR can generate reports to help organizations, by gathering information for regulatory audits including SOX or PCI audits. I would take you through the GGADR operations in this session after you install our GG Active Directory reports. Just click to start. Yes, this is our Active Directory reports view. Here we provide lots of options for users to generate reports. User can generate reports like user reports, group reports, computer reports, exchange reports, OU reports, GPO reports, security reports. NTFS reports, and schedule reports. Apart from this we also introduce some useful features, like bulk report generation, domain controller settings, and scheduler. Let's see all these one by one. First I'm going to generate all users report and user reports for that click on the all user in general reports. Yes, here we got the list of all users. Now we can print or export the report. Here I'm gonna export the report. Before that, check the list, as per your need. Here I check all, to export full report we see here. Now click export. Here we support three formats of files, select any one from this. And give name to save file. Now the reports are saved in the location we specified. In the same way, we can generate reports of all type given here. Here one action button is given, by using this we can perform some actions in Active Directory, like enable, disable, delete, reset, unlock and move. Now I'm gonna disable one user who is never log in. Just click on users never log on report under log on reports. Yes these are all the users never logged in. Now, I'm gonna select one. And, click the action button here, select disable. Yes. See now, the enable state of selected user turned to false. Generating the computer reports. OU reports and every other reports would be very similar to user report generation. To get a further assistance in generating ever reports, please download and refer the manual from our website. Next what we are going to see is custom report. In this report we support LDAP queries the users can enter the LDAP query to custom their report. First click on the other report. In this. Select Custom Reports option. Here, in this text box enter your LDAP query. What I enter here is object class. Equals. User. To report all the user in a domain. And click Generate. Here we got the all user report. Next we gonna see a special feature that is domain controller settings. In this feature, we can set our default domain controller and, we can also specify the domain controllers, not to be used. Now click on this domain controller settings. Here, the new dialog box opens. In this we can specify the, default domain controller. First select the domain controller and click set as default domain controller. Now our default domain controller is set. And to specify the domain controller not to be used select the domain controller, and click this arrow mark, to add it into the list of domain controller not to be used. Finally, select save option to save the controller settings that we modified. Next, we are going to see how to generate report at scheduled time. This is a most useful feature that the reports are generated automatically at scheduled time, regularly. To use the scheduler, first click on the schedule button. Now a dialog box is opens here. 
In this, give name to your schedule, I give demo schedule. Next, give description about your schedule. I just type demo. Next select scope, by specifying the scope we can select the target for report generation. Scope may be domain or ho you in a domain, select that as per your need. Here, I select full domain to extract report from an entire domain. Then finally select report file type. Click next. Here, select the report which you need from this drop down. I select computer reports. Next, to specify the added reports the schedule. Select reports you need. And, click this arrow mark. Now, the selected report move right side. Next I change the report type to user reports and again do the same procedure to move it to added reports. Do this for all reports you need. Finally, click next. In this dialog box give a details about a schedule. First specify schedule task, that may be weekly, monthly or whatever you need. Next select the start time of schedule. And then next, give the option which day you need a schedule to run. I give first day of month. Give all details as per your requirement. Then click Next. Here, add the email address to send the reports, at schedule time. Just type your mail address. Click Finish. To verify the created schedule, click Schedule here. Yes, here's the task we created now. This will run at time we specified. Next we are going to see one important feature in Active Directory reports, that is bulk report generation to generate bulk reports rather than single report. Click on the bulk report generation button. Then in this dialog box give a scope name. And select the report file type. And click next. Now, select the reports list that you need, and move it from left hand side to added reports in right hand side by clicking this arrow. Then click next. Here you have two options one is send reports to the mail address. And other one is store it in a specified location. Now here we select to store the bulk reports. And specify the address to save the file. Click Finish. Now the bulk reports are stored in a location we specified. This is all you can do with GG Active Directory reports. Please feel free to contact us for any support or suggestions. Looking forward to serve you better. Thank you.